Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to recover files off a dead laptop or dead desktop. To do this, what we'll be doing here is pulling out the hard drive and plugging it into our different computer. Now, this PC right here is my cousin's laptop. It's pretty old and it is completely dead. It's legitimately dead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and recover the files from it um, by pulling the hard drive out. So what you wanna do is flip the computer over. You'll notice over here we have a RAM and hard drive symbol located in a separate area than the rest of the computer. So what we wanna do is simply unscrew that area from um, the PC and then pull it out. Now I went ahead and already unscrewed it. That's why it is, but it uneven. So what you want to do though is take a screwdriver and simply unscrew all the screws so that we can reveal the compartment. So once you take it off, you'll notice um, you'll probably have RAM and a hard drive and maybe something else in there. So on the right hand side of this computer, we have the RAM area and on the left hand side, we have what we want, which is the hard drive. Now to take the hard drive out, a lot of times you'll have to slide it. Um, but for, before you do that, you'll probably have to undo some screws. So make sure all the screws um, are undone that you have to undo. And once you unscrew everything, uh, you should be able to slide it out. So slide it and then pull it out. And there you go, you are good to go with your hard drive. Next thing to do is probably the hardest part and that is plugging it into your computer. If you ever installed a hard drive before, it's the same process. Uh, if you haven't, then this can be new. Um, you might want to Google how to do it. I'll explain a little bit though. What you want to do is you want to make sure you have to have something from your power supply, obviously to power the hard drive and something from your motherboard, obviously so it shows up on Windows. Now most of you guys will have a SATA hard drive, which is the bottom right hand corner and all the left hand side. So you'll need a power supply cord and a SATA pin connector. Uh, pretty much just go around your computer and look for something that will fit into the hard drive's area and plug it in. And if you find two things that plug in uh, correctly, like this right here, you should be good to go. Like I said though, Google it if you're having any issues. Once you plug it in, um, I'm not leaving it in the computer, so I'm just gonna leave it on top of my power supply for now because I will be taking a note. Obviously, if you're leaving this in for a long period of time, don't do that. Now, once you do that, boot up the computer and head over to your file explorer. You should notice a new hard drive has been added for it. This one's called Gateway, so it is pretty much like your C drive. So now open it up and there you go. You have all your files that you actually lost. So what you can do now is simply go through the files and find something that you want to uh, bring back to life. So if you want your pictures or documents, do what you want to do is go to users and then the user's name. Then you have all your sections and simply just go to an area and uh, drag it to your desktop or to a flash drive. So for example here, I went to the music and here's some old songs that were on the computer's hard drive. And I can go ahead simply and drag them off to the desktop or to a flash drive. And there you go, you have successfully saved a file off of a dead computer from its hard drive. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I know this video is pretty quick, but I just wanted to do a kind of a quick um, way of showing you guys this. Uh, obviously installing the hard drive is probably gonna be the hardest thing for people who have never done this kind of thing before. Like I said, ask questions in the comment section below or Google how to install a hard drive into a computer. It's the exact same process. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, leave a thumbs up and leave in the description comment section below. And besides that guys, thanks for watching. This is Hacker 007 and I'm signing off.